Hey guys, this is Matt with the YouTube channel Bleep and Jeep, and this is a DIY and drive video tutorial here at Pull Apart Used Auto Parts. Let's get started. Bonus! I just found a set of Kragar wheels, but the real reason we're here is to pull this rear axle. Let me show you how to do it. First, let's remove the wheels to make things a little easier on us. So the next thing I want to do is put some penetrating oil on top of these U-bolts because sometimes they can be hard to get off. So PB blaster or something like that would be the best solution. But uh, if you forgot it, you can always use something else that you find in the yard like transmission fluid, oil, even brake fluid will work. Whatever you can get your hands on. While that's taking effect, let's go ahead and remove some other stuff like the shocks. It's a three-quarter inch bolt, I believe. Next, let's remove the drive shaft. If you put it in neutral, you'll be able to spin the drive shaft, which will help get to all sides of the bolt. These are eight millimeter. So, but if you do that, you'll need to put some kind of screwdriver or something in there to lock it down when you go to remove these. Once you get both the straps loose, you should be able to push the drive shaft forward on the slip yoke and get it off of there. Might need to pry it a little bit. There we go. You can even take that out if you want. So our next order of business is to take the emergency brake cables loose. So make sure that your emergency brake isn't on. And then it's really going to help if you have one of these ratcheting wrenches. This one happens to be a 13 millimeter. And we're just going to slide it up on here. When we turn this nut, it's going to loosen the emergency brake. And then we should be able to slip these out and slide them through so that we'll take those with the axle with us. Alright, it'll take quite a while, but once you do get that off of there, you can just take this bracket and you turn it up like this, and it'll pull off through those holes. Now there's two of these little boogers that you'll need to take off, and they can be tricky because there's three little prongs on there. What it does is it goes through the hole, and then those prongs spread out to keep it from coming back out. So if you are lucky, you can get a screwdriver and kind of get on all three of those or uh, you know anything but what I found is that if you take a half inch half inch socket with 12 points it's just the right size to slip over there and if we're lucky it'll close those tabs enough for us to get it through there Got it. There's one more right here, and we can move on. So pretty much all that's left is the brake line and the breather tube. So just follow that breather up as high as it'll go, pull it off. Now the brake line, um, I'm not going to try to fight with that because those suckers are going to be rusty and it's going to break anyway. So I'm just going to cut it. We'll replace the brake line when we put the new axle in to the Jeep. Now we're just going to break the U-bolts free right here. Let's see if we can do that. Oh yeah, not too bad at all. I'll make sure they're broke free with the breaker bar here and then move over to the socket wrench. So once you get the U-bolts from both sides, it'll just drop right out of there, and now we can pull the part. Oh. 
Okay, thanks for watching guys. Again, this is Matt with the YouTube channel Bleep and Jeep. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time.